My name is Shogo Teratani, an ordinary man who works at a construction site. Every day I work hard and sweat to earn money at the site. You can take a break now. Thank you. I can't say I have a good job, but with no education, I don't have much of a choice. Looking back at my past self, I'm surprised I'm still working hard like this. When I was a student, I was what you might call delinquent. I rebelled against my father's strict educational standards and didn't go to school and just played around. Because of that, my father began to shun me as a member of the family. The relationship between parent and son at home only grew colder and colder. But my mom was the one person who wouldn't give up on me. Can you come home a little earlier? I'm worried about you, you know? Shut up, you old hag! I didn't ask you to worry about me! As a parent, of course I'd be worried about my child. Dinner is ready. Have some. No matter how late I got home, my mom was always waiting for me. She'd prepare a meal she didn't even know if I'd eat and welcome me home. She was always showing me kindness, and all I would do was rebel with my foul mouth. But then one day, that normal everyday life suddenly fell apart. Mom fell ill and passed away. In the blink of an eye, she disappeared from my life. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was so sorry that I could never see her again without being able to express even a single word of gratitude for the love she showed me. My mother smiling serenely in her portrait. What am I doing? You're disowned. You have nothing to do with this house. Now go wherever you want. It seemed like the bill for all I had done had finally come due. He kicked me out shortly after, as if to get rid of me. I think my father always wanted to do this with me. I think it was my mom secretly protecting me from my father. I can't believe I didn't notice anything. After I got kicked out of my house, I moved from one friend's house to another, looking for work so I could survive. I had no education, no job options, and dormitory jobs were even harder to come by. I had to persevere. I ended up getting the job at my current company when I was 17. I've been working every day ever since then. Wait, someone's already here. I've been coming here on my lunch break lately. No one's around, and it's cool and quiet in the shade. I like it because it feels like time is passing by in a peaceful way. I don't mind talking to other people, but sometimes I just want to be alone. So I've created this favorite place for myself. It was a girl. What? I just came to my favorite spot on my break from work and was a little surprised to see someone I've never seen before. Sorry if I startled you. Uh, you hungry? Uh, the girl who calls herself Ayane devours the lunch. I don't know where she came from, but she's dressed like this, so she probably hasn't had a decent meal in a while. Hey, what are you doing here? I ran away from home. My dad and I don't get along. For a moment, I felt a twinge of hurt inside me. It was as if I was looking at myself back then, and I guess I didn't feel like a stranger somehow. Well, a lot happens in life. Hey, are you always here? Not until we're done with this site. Will I see you again? Yeah, if I come here. Then I spent every day with her for the next three weeks until the field job was over. Ayane would always come here when it was my break time. I don't know how she spends the rest of her time, but she never seems to go home. But I didn't really want to pry into it. And the last day of field work. Today is the last day of work here. It's unfortunate, but we won't be able to eat together anymore. I won't be able to see you anymore? The next job site is quite a distance from here. How's it going? You ready to go home? They're in touch with you, aren't they? That's proof that they care about you. <laughs> Among her few possessions, Ayane had a smartphone. If it's something her parents are paying for, it didn't seem like they didn't care about their daughter. Ever since I've been involved with Ayane, the runaway girl, for the past few weeks, I've become very attached to her. I gave Ayane all the money I had in my wallet. You know what? Take this money and go to a manga cafe or whatever. Take a bath. Buy some stuff. And when you're clean, have another talk with your father. If you can't understand each other, that's fine, but if you end up regretting it, it'll be too late. I don't want you to end up like me. Why? You don't even know who I am. Why are you being so nice to me? If I were a bad person, I might spend the money, you know? Even if you do, that money's yours now, so I can't say anything. It's just my ego that I want you to spend it this way. I just want you to be happy. I won't forget this, Shogo! After that day, there was no more contact between me and Ayane. I felt lonely, but somewhere in my heart, I still cared about Ayane. I wonder if she went home after that. I think about it, but I know I'll never hear her answer. I only pray that she wouldn't regret it like I did. Six months after I stopped seeing Ayane, I happened to hit a job near the elevated area where I met her again. When I come here, I can't help but think of Ayane. It was like I was feeding her. If I could support her even a little. I thought that, but I was probably the one looking forward to meeting Ayane most.
You're finally back. It was my father's company that hired me to do this work, and I asked them to do it because I knew you would come here again. A familiar voice startled me, and I turned to see Ayane standing there, dressed in a luxurious suit. Ayane! How? Ayane, who used to be a runaway, was actually the daughter of the president of a famous company. She made peace with her father and is now working for the company. So you called me here to see me again? I asked Ayane, and she nodded with a smile. Everything was a reunion arranged by Ayane. I wanted to thank you. Shogo told me to go home, and I did, you know? I had a good talk with my father, and we were able to resolve our misunderstanding. I'm sure, if Shogo hadn't said those things, I still wouldn't have gone home. I'm glad you made it back. But still, I didn't know you came from such a family. I'm embarrassed that I gave you a sermon like a big shot with my low income. About that, I'm going to ask you to quit your job as of today, Shogo. <laughs> what?! If I quit my job, I'll lose my house. Why do I have to quit in the first place? I couldn't hide my surprise at being fired all of a sudden. Did I do something wrong during the construction? I want you to come with me. I don't want to leave you any longer. Even if you stay together, if I lose my job, I'm going to lose my house, you know? I know, so I'm also preparing for that. I'm trying to make a long-winded offer to get married with me. Whoa, what are you talking about? I've been lonely for a few months since I didn't see Ayane. But I never imagined her seeing me as a romantic interest. Isn't she younger than me in the first place? And to ask straight for a marriage? Does your father know about this? Of course. The reason we fought was because he was about to force me into a marriage without regard to my feelings. I told him that if I was going to get married, I wanted to marry someone I choose. So don't worry. Even if that's the case, I'm not ready to get married. Ayane's father wouldn't be fine with just anyone as her marriage partner either. I wonder if he would accept someone like me. If you bring a guy like me with no money and no job, your father's going to faint. There's a lot of jobs and ways to make money if you look for them. It was you who made me realize that the important thing is not that, you know? You were so kind to me when I didn't know any better. I am I was glad that you looked at me for who I was disregarding social titles. So I want to cherish that feeling I felt. Please, stay by my side. Man... You're a handful. I was a handful from the beginning, wasn't I? I smile as if I gave up to Yayane, who didn't seem to take offense. Then we got into a relationship as fiancés. I was nervous that I'd be turned away, but I guess her father liked me for who I was inside, and he took me in rather easily. Ayane is smiling more happily now that her father approved. I was asked by Ayane and changed jobs to the same company. I got a better job than when I was a field worker, and my life changed a lot. The president and Ayane also arranged a house for me, and I can only thank them for that. I'm a bit overwhelmed by the new environment, but I'm making efforts every day to adapt to it. I want to repay the president for the special care he gives me by achieving results at work as soon as possible. I met her by chance, and I never dreamed that I'd be asked to get married by a younger woman like this. I just didn't want her to feel the same way I did. I was involved with Ayane with that one thought in mind. Something must have touched her heart as well. I was able to be close to her because of the quiet love my mother gave me. If I had noticed that, I'd probably still be a wreck. I'm going to live the rest of my life in my own way to the fullest so I can make my mother proud. With the love of my life whom I met. Hello! Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. See you all next time.